All right, so in this problem, we have an expression with the variables a, b, and c, and we are given the values of a and c, and therefore we will be able to find the value of b. So our first step is to plug in our values for a and c, and so let's do so. We have, instead of c, I'm going to be writing 10, and I'll open our parentheses, and b stays our unknown variable, so we will write b equals 50 minus b plus a, Instead of a, I'll be writing 2, and b plus 1. All right, so this is our expression with the values a and c, and now let's start simplifying. Now, in the order of PEMDAS, we always start with parentheses, and here, because we cannot um, simplify th these parentheses, what we can do is distribute this 10 into our parentheses. So here we have 10 times b, we get 10b, 10 times negative 3, we get minus 30. All right, now we have equals 50 minus, we'll open our parentheses, and here we'll do the same because we cannot um, simplify what's inside of the parentheses, we will distribute this 2 into the parentheses. So here we have b plus 2b, because 2 times b gives us 2b, and 2 times 1 gives us a 2. All right, so now we can simplify this big parentheses into b plus 2b, which gives us 3b, and plus 2. All right, so now let's rewrite our expression. We have 10b minus 30 equals 50 minus our, the inside of our parentheses, which we just simplified. We have 3b plus 2. Now we can distribute this negative into our parentheses, and if we rewrite it, we have 10b minus 30 equals 50 minus 3b minus 2. All right, so now let's move all the b's to one side and all the numbers to the other. So we'll add 3b to both sides. This will cancel out. And here we are left with 13b. And we will add 30 to both sides. So now we have 50 plus 30 minus 2, which gives us a 78. And now in order to find the value of b, we will um, isolate this b by dividing by 13 on both sides. And now we get b to equal 78 divided by 13, which, oops, which gives us 6. So our final answer for this problem for the value of b will be 6.